Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Codrone library add-ons along with the Codrone hardware add-ons. So first of all, I'm assuming that you've installed the Arduino IDE. Once you have that, you're going to go right here on this actual page and click Codrone add-on files and that's going to start downloading the zip file. So while that's downloading, you got to make sure you also download this, the Codrone hardware add-ons. And it's for the actual um, Smart Inventor Board version 2. So that should be downloading. So once you're done downloading, you're going to have to open them up. They're zip files, so you probably might need an extractor, but here I have them already installed. They will show up in your download folder. I, I just put these already on my desktop. So right here, you have all the files. So don't start opening these up directly from here. This file has to go inside this Arduino library file location. So you're going to click Open File Location. Let's do this. And you're going to go to Libraries. And in here, you're going to have all these libraries that your Arduino comes with standard. Um, and you're going to click and drag this Codrome file. Go to Libraries. It's going to ask you this. Click Continue. It's going to start putting all of this in here. And so putting this into the Arduino libraries, you got to make sure that the Arduino ID is closed for it to like install the library properly. Um, but the thing is that just installing this, this is just for the code drone itself. Now you have to actually install the hardware for the, for the row kit board. All right, guys. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually put the, this hardware file into the hardware file here with an Arduino. I'll show you how you get there here real quick. So you go to open file location. You're going to hit hardware. That opens up. And under this, you're just pretty much going to click and drag this guy into here. Click continue. It's going to do all this stuff. And it's installing all the stuff for the Smart Inventor board, basically. You can see everything it's installing. All right, it's done. And just double check. Go inside. Okay, everything seems to be inside. All right. So now let's actually test that this worked. So close out of this. Um, open up the Arduino IDE. It's, there you go. So now what you should be able to see is under boards, you scroll down, and there you go. If you have the code drone, basically this is the board that you're using. You click that, and if you connect your um, code drone via the USB, um, it should show up here under port if you've installed the SI Labs uh, driver. And that tutorial is over here and that's that's relatively simple set up the inventor USB driver so you're gonna have to do these steps right here and download this right here the SI labs installation package and if you have Windows you click this one if you have Mac you click this one and everything should be okay once you finish downloading it then when you hook it up right here it should under port show up and real quick um, if let's say you did upload some random program into your code drone you want to upload the original one you go right here under code drone. oh yeah this, this right here and it should be the controller flight so this sketch right here is the original sketch that comes in with it out of the box <laughs> All right, guys, so now I've actually hooked up it through USB, so I'm going to disconnect it. So right now it's not showing up anything, but hook it up through the USB, and let's see, hopefully, there you go, it shows up. And for my computer, it's showing up as COM20, so I'm going to click it. And now to make sure that your program is actually working, you're going to click verify. So it's compiling the code. You're going to get this random stuff but as long as this shows up down here and that green bar disappears it, it actually did compile so now we're going to try to upload it onto the board so hit upload it's giving me a bunch of stuff but it goes in as long as this green bar finishes you're okay 
No. Nope. It does not want to work. Ah, yes, of course. Yes. You have to make sure that the this if switch one is on. So I just clicked it on, and now I actually taken um, code into it. And once you hit dip switch on, you're gonna have to disconnect it through the USB and rehook it up. It just has to reset itself. And I'm going to make sure everything's good. And now we're gonna click upload. Hopefully everything's good and it works. And it doesn't. Let's see. Serial com. Okay, I selected the right board and everything. I'm gonna just keep trying. Gotta keep trying. Come on. Yes, it worked. Um, okay, so this is important to know as well is that a lot of times it won't upload its first try. You're gonna have to keep trying. You're gonna have to click the reset button and then try to hit upload. Um, that's just the nature of most like Arduino boards. Um, it's just sometimes it's running like a little program within it and it's not uh, resetting correctly when it's uh, trying to upload the program. So you just gotta keep trying. Um, eventually it'll, it'll load up. But that was a successful uh, actual upload. So it worked. Let's try to upload it one more time, see if it gives us any errors again. It's going, it worked. It worked. Yes, it worked. Okay, so it's good. And now to actually get it to uh, control your code drawing, you're going to have to turn off the dip switch one. And that should be it. Now it should be able to pair up with uh, a nearby code drum. All right, I hope that uh, was helpful to anybody. All right, have a good day.